hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm really in a good mood i'm going to be filming one of those videos you guys have better just be ready for me uh, if you're new to my channel you're very much welcome and if you're an old uh, subscriber thank you for coming back uh, i see all these memes i mean some of the craziest memes i've seen on instagram had something to do with dubai and i was like hmm this is interesting and then in one of Davido's songs, he made a statement like, no be by force, for God Dubai. My husband really likes that song. But today I'll be spilling the tea on some of the things I hate about Dubai. I know social media portrays this place to be um, one of the best touristic destinations in the world. With uh, you, What don't you have in Dubai? Come on. You've got flying taxis. You've got Dubai Mall. That mall is beautiful. I'm going to take you guys there in the future, of course. You've got dinner in the sky. For somebody who lives in Dubai, are those things true? Yes, I'll tell you. I'm still to experience the wonders and marvels of Dubai because they don't come cheap. That's true. But as somebody again, as somebody who resides here, just like any beautiful city in the world or country in the world, um, which can boast of all these beautiful things, we also have some not so great things about Dubai, which I'm going to be focusing on today. And people, come on, give me some credit. I came here with my receipt. I couldn't just come sit here, spill the tea on you guys without no receipt. So the first thing I'm going to be talking uh, about is education. Let me just go straight with this receipt, people. And this is, um, I got this information from Golf News, which was published uh, July 3rd, 2017. So this is, please, I am current with my, with my uh, information. It says, UAE school fee second highest in the world after Hong Kong and then it goes ahead to expand shape according to a study released by HSBC sending a child to school in UAE UAE means United Arab Emirates from primary to university will cost about $99,378 the second highest in the world did you guys get those figures so please for subscribers coming on here like when uh, are you and hobby expecting these figures just snatch these figures will snatch off the braids off my hair like i'm not ready <laughs> we need to we need to start saving for future babies from now or all, all right because these figures they are not playing school fee in dubai is expensive it is not a joke so um maybe as a tourist coming here to visit you may not know this although i must add that there are less expensive schools uh, than others for example uh, the school fee you would pay in an indian school would be less expensive than uh the, the amount of money you're going to pay in a British school or an American school so I believe it is possible for everybody based here or who resides in Dubai to cut their coat according to their pockets yeah so that's what I think but I just had to mention the school fee which is crazy expensive people another point I'll uh, be talking about is the language barrier uh, of course Dubai is a touristic destination I have met people from countries I have never heard in my life since I moved here. You've got people from several countries from Africa, of course. You've got people from Asia. You've got Russians, Chinese. What nationality don't you have here? And of course, this is an Arabic country, meaning English is not their first language. So instead of, you know, forming your proper British English or American English like hi please where can i take a cab um, i would like to go to Burj al Arab. Mm -mm. to make it easy for everybody what you could do you could simply just say cab where like literally <laughs> when i when i when i understood that that's how i'm supposed to come i was like no why i don't like it why can't i speak proper english you know Later on, I got to understand that you, you know what, if you want to get things done, you are better at that. And because, I mean, nobody owes you an explanation for not being able to speak of English, which is my first language, you understand. And the most important thing is for you to be able to communicate with others. Um, yeah, so that's 
quite a problem if you look at it but you can always go i mean it's not it's not a do or die you can phrase it in a way the next person is going to understand and they'll be able to help you out because after everything the people in this country are the kindest i've ever met another thing i have to talk about to you guys is the weather my god instead I, you know when the way it works in other continents or in other countries during winter people are so miserable sad and everything in dubai it's the complete opposite during summer everybody a lot of people go away on vacation because it is crazy hot the weather is so hot my god it goes it can go up to 43 uh, degrees like seriously i think today um one second let me just check the weather okay today it says it um the weather is going to be mostly sunny um 39 degrees but it feels like 42 degrees and it's also humid the humidity um level is 31 percent dubai is hot yeah personally i prefer summer to winter i don't like cold i, I don't know how i would deal with the cold and everything so i prefer dubai or uh, weather or climate but it gets crazy hot sometimes so uh that's that what other thing would you not imagine but which i find uh, absolutely like not like a problem but i mean which i i just don't like about this place is uh, housing over here depending i mean it is relative if you are in areas like marina um, jumeirah downtown dubai it is crazy expensive it is not a joke so um the way to get about it is to maybe live in the cities around dubai that i mean just at the border of dubai and then you commute to work uh, yeah through you use maybe a private car or public transport it's, it's not far it's a, it's a matter of we're talking about minutes here but housing in dubai is not a joke just so you know yeah so uh that's that am i forgetting anything um what else oh i forgot and i really need this i really need to mention this for somebody who is considering coming to reside there as in um, try to get a job and all that this is something i find quite disturbing you know you are competent you have the right certificates the right um experience for it for a job uh yeah for a job you you see a job opp opportunity online and you're about to apply for it and it is written there um what's that word kabayans only or filipino only indians only you know there there'll be a nationality restriction um below the job opportunity and i'm like this is not right this is hands down not right this is a case of maybe tribalism or i don't know call it what you want but this is not right you should be able to get a job based on merit like if you deserve to if you have the experience uh, for that job i'm not saying it is the case like everywhere personally i work for europeans the i got my job based of based of um, my experience based of if i deserve to have the job or not but for the instances i've seen online it's a bit i find it a bit disturbing like why 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 put a limit on the nationality of somebody you would want to employ for a particular job it doesn't make sense i think that should be something that um i don't know be it i don't know who has to work on that but i think it is not right another point i have on my long list of things that, i'm just kidding <laughs> my list doesn't comprise of up to five things in it so another point i have of the things i don't really like about dubai is the no display of public affection yeah i mean if you were in europe or you know um united states of america where there's the tongue grabbing tongue licking butt grabbing everything grabbing going on and nobody would give a damn or even care what you do with your partner in public or in the streets that's not the case with dubai yeah it is frowned upon i mean it does those are their values that's their culture you just don't do those things in public even if no action is taken against you people are going to give you the ugly stare just so you know 
so if you are if um, if you are one of those people that cannot do without being all over your wife husband babe boyfriend and you're thinking of uh, vacationing in dubai or just coming here for your honeymoon it's two things you either bear in mind that you would have to you know have some self-control in public just to precise in public when you're here maybe for if you're here for a week or two or a month you would have to exercise some self-control if you absolutely cannot control yourself sweetheart i bet you you should look towards italy france um wherever just look towards other cities in the world dubai wouldn't be the place for you because you would feel uncomfortable because sincerely it is it is really frowned upon especially within the uh, the holy month of ramadan you know but the people they um put out communiques just to tell people please dress, dress decently please don't uh, eat in public please be very don't eat in public at particular hours please no public display of affection they communicate that to you know to the public and of course we have to respect that that's their religion so the rules are a little more strict during the month of ramadan i think that is the end of this tea that i've been spilling to you guys of course i'm going to film another video on the things i find amazing about dubai this is just one of those cities that what's there not to love about a whole lot of things about it but of course like everything you have some things that are amazing and some that are just like uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. yeah so that is everything i wanted to talk to you guys about i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you put uh, all of these points in consideration if you're be it moving to dubai be it coming here as a tourist you know so um if you've not clicked that subscribe button go right ahead and click the button and don't forget to click the bell besides the button and if you're an oldie of course thank you for watching till the end i'll see you guys in my next video bye